So let's start with the smallest uh, caravan in the Alicanto range. This is the Lisbon, and as you can tell, it's a single axle. Now, the MTPLM hasn't been fixed as yet when I was filming this, but it's thought to be around 1,600 kilos, but I will put the figure on the screen now. Uh, walking around here, you can see, if you remember the um, 2021 uh, Unicorn launch that had that infinity window, this has now been passed on to the Alicanto range. Um, but let's have a look inside. Now, for me, the first thing I notice, um, obviously this is an eight foot wide caravan and I'm gonna be referencing that quite a bit, I think, as I go through. Uh, the first thing I notice alongside that window is that that extra width, you know, on some caravans, you get a normal size bed base either side, but then you get this sort of colossal um, size corridor up through the middle. Well, the space has been used, especially in this corner bit here, um, you can see how much space you've got. So you've got a nice corner section there, and you know, with the creases there, you can actually see where I've been sat there a minute ago. And that does give you quite a lot of space, and it's very comfy too. Now, it's worth mentioning that um, this has the optional um, upholstery, which is supposed to be an easy clean surface. Now, I'm not gonna try it because, um, you know, crikey, imagine if I put a pen or something on there, but I'm told that it's easy to clean. So if you've got one, please let me know. Um, that, that eight foot wide width um, has been used to accommodate an L-shaped kitchen unit as well. Now this has um, an integrated uh, draining board. Do you know, that's actually shaped, uh, yes. What I didn't notice before, shallower here, deeper here, which to be fair, makes perfect sense, doesn't it, when draining away. Um, I was wondering what it'd be like if you didn't quite level the caravan, but there's quite a drop, so you should be okay. Now this goes into the sink unit here, and this has, oh, that is heavy in fact. Uh, that has, um, a flush mounted top here, which along with this here, if you dropped it down, I won't because it's set for filming at the moment, would give you all of this as worktop space. Now on the back of this is a chopping board as well, which means that you haven't got to carry two things, um, you know, to, to chop and cover that sink. So it's, it's all in one. Um, lighting in the middle, in the top, more below here, more below here, and you see it's red at the bottom here. That follows round into the lounge. You probably can't see it at the moment because it's so bright. Um, but we have um, LED lighting here and in the kitchen, which is controlled by the panel here. Now, all you do here, um, run your finger around. So if we want to go, I don't know, should we go for blue? That then changes the lighting to blue here. It's dimmable, you know, just like a car system. You can you can play with it, different colors, uh, different brightness levels and all that sort of thing. So opposite the kitchen, TV point here for watching in the lounge. Um, I suppose doubly good if you're watching from these uh, bits here. Um, storage, and it's also got a built-in Wi-Fi unit, not pre-wired, but it actually comes with a Wi-Fi unit installed. Now, I suppose that gets me onto the tech with that as well, because by the door, there's a wireless charging point. So if your phone is enabled, you can just place your phone on top and it will start charging. Or if you haven't, press it, you've got USB points below. Even more USB points here, along with some storage here. So you've got that Dometic uh, tower fridge, uh, as you'd probably expect, and that Dometic um, uh, glass plate free microwave. So you haven't got to worry about that glass plate. And also, um, it's not a roof light above the kitchen, but it's an omni vent. Um, so, you know, if, um, if I've been there trying to heat up my Ginster's pasty, much to Helen's disgust, then that should hopefully deal with that. Now this has a centre washer. Now let me come around this way because the door here, it's closed at the moment, making that loo a separate compartment. But what you can do, you can shut that here. So if you want to make this into a large, I don't know, ensuite area, if you will, you've got this as part of the bedroom. Now you have a separate shower, um, splashback, would you call that? And a mirror there. And obviously, oh, 
somewhere to put all your soap and all your sundries. Now in here you have, um, you know, Lou curved bit here, which gives you a surprise amount of, of elbow room. Um, Lou storage, Belfast style sink, um, and then Alder radiator. Um, and it's quite hot at the moment. I don't know yet when this caravan is going to be released, but I guarantee you it won't be 26 like it is today. Um, and also we're coming to the back now. Um, this has a king size bed. Obviously it's an eight foot wide caravan, gives you that extra width. Now coupled with these um, curved sections in the wardrobe either side, gives you a proper king size bed. Now below that is obviously storage, as you'd expect in a fixed bed. And below here is that through boot, which basically is a locker door outside either end. And you can put stuff right the way through. So that runs the full length. I don't know, um, skis, large baguettes, umbrellas, whatever you want. Um, that should be able to fit in there. Now, also new, if you can see that sun's in the way, let's try the other one. Now, you have the bedside tables here. If I just move that cup off, because as well as being a bedside table for your nighttime essentials, phone, book, I don't know, cup of tea, something like that, um, there's also storage below as well. So, you know, if you want to, I don't know, hide a bottle of wine under there, um, <laughs> or other nighttime essentials, um, you know, it's all there ready to go. And also, Oh, the snazzly. I don't know if you can see it. I haven't seen this at night. This is the first time I've seen this and I haven't got long in here. But there's an LED strip that runs behind that headboard and speakers above. So, you know, there's yet more tech um, in this Alicanto Grande Lisbon. So let's finish with a view from the bedroom into the rest of the caravan. Oh, crikey, even on this sunny day, you know, we really pick up that blue lighting, can't you? So anyway, let's move on to its big brother. Now this is the Alicanto Grande Porto. This is the big boy in the Alicanto range for 2022, and it has been the best seller so far. Now up front, this has the standard upholstery. The other one had the optional upholstery. This is the standard. Um, now this has a much longer, I mean, this is a twin axle caravan. Uh, the other beds were five foot eight. These are six foot, which gives you that much more option if you want to use them as single beds or obviously makes up into a generous double. Uh, infinity window here. Now the kitchen uh, looks to be the same as the Lisbon with um, obviously this panel here, integrated um, draining board, dual fuel hob, separate oven and grill, as well as the wine rack there. Uh, the fridge is different. The fridge freezer is a slightly larger tower freezer. Now, I could be wrong, and this is from memory. Is it the 153 litre one? Um, it could well be, and we obviously have wireless charging point here and some more USBs here. Telepoint just above. Um, now, this extra length was really noticeable in the washroom. Um, because you have a bit more space in the separate shower with the mirror above and um, a slightly different wall, um, wardrobe, washroom layout compared to the Lisbon because you have this towel rail here with the sink to the left, large mirror above, window and obviously um, a similar spec loo to the other one. Um, Again, king size bed, eight foot wide caravan. It obviously helps you squeeze in those, those extra inches to the bed, um, as well as these shaped wardrobe units here. Now, if I pan round, oh, hang on. Oh no, I didn't mention. Two modes, day mode and night mode. Day mode is pushed right back to give you this much more space here. And obviously night mode, you would pull that uh, bed out um, to give you much more sleeping room. Now the storage uh, either side of the bed, mirror here and over there is the telepoint. Now I don't know if I mentioned this in the other one, but the windows are new as well. Um, I don't know if you can see it here, but these are Puma flush fit windows. And they do look quite swish actually. Um, so that is 
the twin axle, Alicanto uh, Grande Porto with an MTPLM of about 1800 kilos.